Hello friends. Today I want to talk about how to paint with watercolors fearlessly. My hope is that after watching this video, you'll be excited to approach your paintings in a way that will encourage play, exploration, fun, and growth. Throughout the video, I'll be demonstrating some watercolor techniques that I used on this landscape portrait painting. Your future artist self is just like a blank canvas. Have you ever thought about that? There's so much potential there. There's room for big dreams, and most of what goes into the artwork is within your control as the artist. Now, I say most things are within your control because, like watercolor, life can be unpredictable. But with that in mind, this is my first tip for approaching your watercolor paintings without fear. Embrace the unpredictability. Don't fight with your paint. Let it do its thing. This is a hard one for me. I tend to want to control every brush stroke, every wash. I want results that are always successful and always repeatable. But the truth is, watercolor is meant to flow and move. But this means that every time you pick up your brush and bravely put paint to paper, you can expect something new and different to happen. This can definitely cause frustration for us. We want to know what's happening and why. But here's the thing. If you approach your painting with a mindset of, it's okay, watercolor is unpredictable. Let's just see what happens. Something really beautiful begins to occur. As you paint and play and explore and make messes, you start to paint more intuitively. The nonsense of watercolor actually begins to make sense. And even after many years of painting, you learn something new with each new painting. In this mountain landscape, there were many areas that I honestly didn't really know how to tackle. The bushes seemed especially intimidating. I mean, look at all that detail. I decided to just throw lots of water and paint at it and just see what happened. And to my surprise, I was most happy with the areas of the painting where I used a freer and less controlled approach. My second tip for approaching watercolor fearlessly have an abundance mindset. An abundance mindset is the belief that there are enough resources in the world for everyone, and it's gratitude for whatever the universe provides. And I'm talking specifically about having an abundance mindset both towards your creative ideas and your art supplies. I've heard many of you say this, and I'm guilty of this too, that you just don't wanna use your more expensive art supplies or large sheets of watercolor paper because you're afraid you'll ruin them. You don't feel ready yet. Maybe you don't even feel worthy of attempting to create something on that beautiful surface. But hear me out, your paper surface is so important because using good paper will keep you coming back to your art day after day. My number one reason for using my best paper, even if I'm afraid my art will suck, is that it's so much more enjoyable to paint on. It feels better, it looks better. Just ask yourself, why are you painting in the first place? If it's because you love it, art brings you joy, and you can't imagine a world without art, then just go ahead, ditch that fear of messing up your surface and paint on it anyway. Having an abundance mindset towards your art supplies means that you paint often and you use your best supplies. The only wasted art supplies are the paints that are still in the tubes and the paper stashed in the closet unused. Approaching your art with this mindset will reap so many benefits in your growth as an artist. For this particular painting, I used a 16 by 20 inch cradle wood panel covered with Fabriano Artistico cotton cold press paper. This panel is made by New York Central Art Supply. It was a more expensive surface than my usual paper, but it was a delight to paint on. Handling all of the rigorous techniques I threw at it with ease, I was able to use masking fluid, lots of wet on wet, and many layers of paint without worrying about my surface eroding or buckling. My third tip for painting without fear is to get comfortable with mistakes and failures. Have you ever given up on something because you tried it once and you weren't good at it right away? Me too. <laughs> it's the fear of failure. Fear is such a strong emotion. It can completely take over our psyches and convince us that we should just play it safe, stick with what we know, don't make waves. But the only way to grow and improve is to put ourselves in those uncomfortable situations, to take artistic risks, and to turn them into learning opportunities. We can build resilience by learning not to be so hard on ourselves, and by believing that each failure is simply an opportunity to try again. And after you've overcome your artistic fears for the first time, don't stop there. Continue to strengthen your fearlessness like a muscle by putting yourself out there on a regular basis. American writer and self-improvement pioneer Dale Carnegie once said, do the thing you fear to do and keep on doing it. That is the quickest and surest way ever yet discovered to conquer fear. 
Show your work to other people. Try painting larger or more challenging subjects. Grow your experience and your knowledge as an artist by continually doing hard things. Number four, experiment. Be a student for life. Think progress over perfection. In fact, just throw the word perfection out of your vocabulary. Try new techniques. When you sit down to paint, don't tell yourself practice makes perfect. Instead, try changing your inner dialogue to something like, this is playtime. Try using tons of water. Try some dry brush or scraping techniques. Mix up your brush sizes and brush strokes. Play with upstrokes, downstrokes, sideways strokes, curved strokes, big, bold, flat brush strokes, or tiny linear ones. Experiment with masking fluid, spatter, or new color mixes that you've never tried. There is simply no limit to the amount of fun you can have when you're playing with your paints. And when you are having fun, you're not thinking about the things you're afraid of, right? Approaching your art with childlike wonder and with the anticipation of play and exploration will give you the freedom to ignore those critical voices in your head. Don't compare your progress to someone else's or hold yourself to some impossibly high standard. Immerse yourself in the process of learning and you'll soon find you don't have time for such negative limitations. Lastly, and this one is important, don't give up on your painting. Sometimes we leave a painting unfinished because we're afraid. We're afraid to invest a lot of time and effort into something that, in the beginning, honestly looks like it has a fat chance of turning out. At the start, most watercolor paintings look like perspective failures and nothing more. But don't let this discourage you or prevent you from seeing it through to the end. Push past the ugly phase. Believe it or not, this landscape painting actually sat unfinished in my studio for quite a few months before I finally pulled it out and pushed through to the finish. I'd only done one sitting with it. I blocked in the snow, the exposed mountainside, and the tree line with a first wash. But I wasn't super happy with those first brush strokes, and along with my kind of timidity over potentially ruining this nice new surface, I let these minor considerations prevent me from continuing to work on it. I finally talked myself into pulling the painting out again and giving it another shot. I'm always telling my students in my online school to just push through the ugly phase, and here I was kind of hypocritically doing the opposite of that. The good news is, even if your painting doesn't quite turn out like you'd hoped or imagined, you never regret finishing it. There are color mixes and techniques that you've explored and lessons that you've learned. The experience is irreplaceable, and often your painting will be a success and you'll wonder why you balked at it in the first place. So never give up. See it through to the end. You won't regret it. In Nelson Mandela's own words, courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. I hope you feel encouraged, friends, to paint fearlessly. Fear is completely mind-made. It's not actually happening in the present. Take up your brush. There's no danger. Just breathe, allow yourself to be in the moment, and start painting. I'll see you again soon.